Welcome to Master the Game. I'm Juice, and today we are talking about skill programs and how they work in Heroes Unlimited. And I got a little hint for you. It's using percentile dice. So let's get started. So in Heroes Unlimited, you're going to make skill checks based on percentile dice. Now, the thing about this that you always have to take into consideration when you're creating your character is your intelligence. If your intelligence is a 16 or higher, you're going to get a bonus to your percentiles when you originally pick your skills. And this can be huge. This can make massive differences the higher your intelligence is. You're gonna roll on a chart to determine your education level. It's gonna be anywhere from high school up to a doctorate. Now, the thing to note here is that only certain skills from the rogue section or military section comes from people with specific education levels. In order to get the rogue, you have to be a uh, high school education level. You can't have a doctorate, for example. Uh, to get some of the military skills, you're going to need to have a military background. You can't just train in these things uh, and at first level have them. Based on your education level, you're going to have a scholastic set of skills. That's like your primary skills. And you're going to get a bonus to those. So for example, if you're a military specialist, uh, you're going to have a plus 15% on one, espion uh, one espionage skill program. Uh, you're going to have a plus 20% to a basic military skill program. Uh, and this is different from secondary skills because you're not going to get uh, secondary skills with these, at these percentile bonuses. So you're going to select these skill programs, and it might give you an option of choose two skills from this category. And so you're going to take two skills from there, and you're going to add the bonuses that it tells you to do. You're going to do the same thing uh, with your IQ. So if you have a bonus to your intelligence, you're going to add that as well on top of this. Your secondary skills are going to get your intelligence bonus as well. They're just not going to get the scholastic bonus. So if I'm using military as the example, say I'm a military specialist because I rolled an 83 on the chart. I'm going to get a basic military skill program, which is plus 20% plus my intelligence. We'll say it's 16, so I get plus 22%. Uh, I also get to choose either an additional military or espionage skill program that's also plus 20%, but add the intelligence, it's 22%. And one espionage skill program with plus 15%. Uh, this can be a second selection, so you could choose espionage twice, for example. Uh, you then get to choose a weapon proficiency modern skill program and one other skill program that's plus 10%, as well as five secondary skills. Now, again, all of those skills are going to have the intelligence bonus, but those five secondary skills will not have a scholastic bonus. So say under espionage, I chose detect ambush. It's going to get a plus 22% because it's getting 20% from espionage and 2% from intelligence. Now, based on that, Detect Ambush is a base skill of 30% plus five. So I would be a 52% plus 5% per level up. So every time I level up, I'm gonna add 5% on that skill. Now, in Palladium books, the idea is that when you make a skill check, you have to roll under your skill percentile. So if at, say, second level, I'm at a 57% detect ambush, then I'm going to roll my percentiles. And if it's 57% or under, then I succeed. If I roll above it, I fail. Now, there are other skills that provide you with bonuses to combat stats and don't have anything to do with percentiles. Things like boxing, where it gives you a knockout punch and an extra attack per melee, or weapon proficiencies, where it gives you bonuses to uh, shoot, for example, if it's a gun, like to aim, 
Um, or it might give you, if it's a hand-to-hand -hand weapon, it might give you a bonus to parry or to strike with it. So uh, there's a lot of different things you can do. I like to take all my physical skills and if I can, my weapon proficiencies as secondary skills because you don't get those bonuses um, for it being a scholastic skill. And then I like to you know, use all the percentile based skills in my programs that I'm choosing where I get the scholastic bonuses. So again, skills are extremely easy in this game. It's one of the most time consuming aspects of character creation uh, because there's a lot of flipping through the book to find the skills. They're organized by skill program rather than just uh, alphabetical order. Uh, and a thing that I use to help speed that up is I use the Heroes Unlimited Game Mastery Guide where it's got a list of the skill percentages and um, it's just really easy to find. I'll, I'll share a screenshot with you guys here in this video. So if this is your first time here, I hope you will smash that subscribe button, hammer that like button, leave a comment below with any of the skills that you think are very useful or your favorite, or maybe if you have any questions, post them below and I will do my best to answer them as quickly as possible. This was Master the Game. I am Juice. Game on.